Hello and welcome to my video today. This is a part two video. A few weeks ago, I did a video on the front connectors. I showed how to open them up, access them, clean them out, and put them back together. In today's video, I'm gonna show how to waterproof those connectors. So I am going to have to remove the front wheel to get better access to all the connectors that are in that area. Just in case you have other parts of the car that need to have those connectors waterproofed, you can use the same instructions that I show on this to those other areas. So let's get started. Here's what we're gonna be using for the project today. To access the area, we need to get a trim removal tool and also a ratchet with an eight millimeter socket on it. Work gloves if you wish to have those. We're gonna use a couple different types of items to seal the connectors. So I'm gonna show you those right now. One of them is a butyl sealing tape. And what this is, it's almost like a putty-like substance. It is stretchable. And the nice thing is that it's waterproof and you can remove it at a later point if you want to access anything. So this is what I'll be using on one of the connectors. You could also use a stretch and seal, which is a silicone tape. It works very similar to the butyl sealing tape, except it's a silicone, more of a tape type consistency and less like a putty. The next thing we're gonna be using is an enclosure. I found this to be a super easy way to waterproof the front connector. So I'll show you what that looks like. There's some snaps to hold it in place. There are a couple of these pieces that I removed because I'm not gonna need them. I need all this space for the connector itself. So I just took those out. So it's just the enclosure itself. You can see that it has a bunch of gaskets in here to keep water from intruding into the enclosure. And then we have all of these snaps here to seal it. So this one I found is very useful for the connector that's closest to the outside. Next, we have a few zip ties we're gonna use to attach the connectors back to the car. When you remove the connectors, there's a, I think it's called an evergreen connector that attaches to the frame. And what you can do is you pull that out and it's not really usable anymore because we're gonna be wrapping these things up. So we're gonna use the zip ties to attach these connectors back to the vehicle so they don't move around. So that is that. And then also a pair of scissors to trim this if you need it. And also the scissors are also handy to trim the butyl tape. And that's about it for this project. In order to get full access to the connectors in the front, in the previous video, I just turned the wheel over so I can reach the first one, but it's much easier to access both of them, since the one that's further in is harder to reach, is to remove the wheel itself. So I'm gonna lift up the car, take off the front right wheel, and then I'll have plenty of space to work in to get to those connectors. If you need any assistance in how to lift up the car, check out my video on the tire rotation right here. Now I have taken the front right wheel off and here is the area that we're going to be working on in the wheel well. We're going to take off these two eight millimeter bolts right here and then we're going to take off these three trim clips right here. All 
right, so we have all the clips and screws out. We're now going to peel back the wheel well material, which is a soft fabric type. We are going to use the trim tool and just kind of pry out the bottom. If there's any of these clips that fall off, make sure you get them. For example, right here is one. We make sure that we put this back on. Goes this way because this is what those screws grab into. All right, so pull off up here. And then what we're gonna do is just keep on going. And then we're gonna fold this all out of the way. Actually, there is one more screw up here. Let me get this screw out. All right, so we're going to push all this back out of the way. Now we should have a clear view of what we're working with. We have the connector here that I showed you in the previous video, and also this connector right here that I didn't get to. So we're going to detach actually both this and this. Both of these connectors I'm going to put in the enclosure since the wiring harness is kind of shared between them. Just makes it a little bit easier. And since this is spread apart like that, it's easier to use that plastic enclosure. This one, however, due to the wiring is much more difficult to use that enclosure since the wire wraps around that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the example of the butyl tape for this one. So you get to see both main types of waterproofing that you could use on these connectors. Using the trim removal tool, I'm going to loosen both of these connectors from the frame. In the previous video, I disconnected this and checked the inside. So right now, let me do that again just to show you the process. There's that little clip down here that you press forward like that. And with that, you can now disconnect these two sides. Then you just need to press down on this and pull them apart. And note the inside of this connector is clean along with this side. Make sure you clean up the area inside the connector. Use some canned air. And if there is any rust or any materials in there, get that out with the cleaner. And then when you're all done, it's all clean. Then connect them back together again. It will snap. You hear that snap. And then press the little button and that will lock it in. So we have both of these now going to be used. So what I'm gonna do now is get the wiring for these in the same direction, kind of like this and this. Here's the enclosure that I showed you earlier. And what you can do now is put both of these inside that enclosure and then make sure the wires go inside the grommeted area here so that they become sealed. Should be plenty of room for both of these. I may put the smaller one in first so I can get the wiring in a little bit easier. It's a little hard to do. 
All right, so that gives you an idea of what I'm going to be doing here. So insert both of these connectors and the wires inside the grommeted area. Just make sure they stay in place. It's a little tricky here, but as I close it, I'm going to make sure that the wiring stays correctly in the grommets. All right, I got that side done. Let me check this side. So this side's done. So yeah, so once you get the wires inside the grommets, the rubber gasket basically on both sides, then you press it closed, pull down on the latch here that will lock it in place. It will snap fully. And then you got two auxiliary ones right here that you'll snap down on the edges. So it'll be extra protected. Now we have everything wrapped in this enclosure and it is now going to be watertight. The nice thing about this is if you ever have an issue with the connector or anything you want to check, you can easily unsnap this enclosure and access the wires underneath. At this point, I need to attach it to the car frame right here so that it is attached and it will not move. I'm going to use a combination of zip ties here. If you have a really long zip tie, that will work out great. But if you have two shorter ones, you can attach them end to end. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have one of them go through this hole right here. Pull the zip tie so it's tight. All right, so this is now firmly attached back to this bracket. Don't need to worry about it. If you did want some extra protection, you could use some dielectric grease on the outside of the wires, but I think this should be good enough because this gasket has like uh, three layers. So it should be really good for keeping this watertight. Now I move the camera a little further inside the wheel well so you can see the second one. This is the black connector here. It is also attached to the frame here, this bracket, and I'm gonna loosen it up. just go back and forth and it should pop out. There we go. Similar to the other one, we're going to pop out this little button. And now we can disconnect the two halves. Ah, there we go. Disconnected it and let's look inside. And it is looking good. Since this was so hard to get off, I figured this must have been a pretty good connection here. And yes, this one is also looking fine. No issues with any water entry or corrosion. So I will now reattach it. You'll hear that snap. All right. At this point, I can start wrapping the butyl tape around the start of the wiring right here. So I'm going to start right where the wires are exposed and I'm going to have it wrap all the way around the whole connector and then it's gonna end at the wires over here. It is gonna be kind of tough because it is very sticky. So do your best to just wrap it around. And as you're wrapping it, press it firmly so it sticks together. And then when you get done, just press down around the whole exterior of that tape, and then it will make a waterproof bond on this connector and wiring harness. So 
a little hard to see here because it's kind of tight with the uh, wiring harness in the way. But yeah, just keep wrapping it and overlapping the butyl tape over the previous winding and then press down so it becomes sealed. And just keep doing that, winding around. And I did a fairly short piece. You can just do multiple pieces and just stick them together. I found if I used a piece that was too long, it got a little unwieldy. So, Okay, so not very pretty, but it does the job. So like I mentioned, wrap it around the entire connector and wiring section. Make sure as you go around, you overlap and then press down. And when you're totally done wrapping it up, make sure you press down along the whole surface so that you make sure it's all sealed. At this point, it's looking very much like a little mummy here, mummified cabling. I'm going to then attach the zip tie to this and connect it to the frame. I'm going to end up using two zip ties so this works a little bit better. I wish I had a slightly longer one there. Then And now we keep this in this location here with the zip tie. It is looking pretty good. All right, so here we go. We have both of these connectors, actually two connectors in this one and one connector over here. And uh, to summarize the uh, plastic enclosure here with the rubber grommets, I think is the easiest way of doing this as you saw during this process. Super easy to install this one. This one's a bit more work. You have to be very careful with the butyl tape. It's super sticky and make sure you overlap it so that you get full waterproofness on this. There may be other connectors in the car. I'm pretty sure there's one in the rear wheel well and uh, I'm not aware of anything on the front left. But if there's any others, you would do the same process that I did here for the waterproofing. Inspect it first, make sure it's clean, then connect them and then put waterproofing over them. Now I'm pretty confident that I shouldn't have any problems, at least with this part of the car. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.